guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting ring to movie three of the Gardens of Sinners. Okay, so this is a situation just like we said with last week. Um, so unfortunately with this one, I I was expecting this movie to be at least an hour. No, this movie is like 57 minutes, so um the movie's still all gonna be on one whole part and ish. I'm just going to, you know, have a little intro right here, and then, you know, I'll have the whole fucking movie, and then our outro and shit. But yeah, I, I don't know what the heck to expect with this, but at the same time, I kind of do, because, of course, this movie is not gonna have anything to do with the, uh, the murder one from part one. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> because the way that that movie ended off, I was like, okay, hold up. Y'all can't y'all can't end this like this and then just like yeah we're gonna go to the feature but like okay one thing I, I still can't believe about is that that last ending scene with what's his face going to go visit Saki in the hospital that ain't look like Saki though but everyone was like no that's Saki I, and I'm like okay all right all right so I, I mean because like I still have questions about the first movie and the girl specifically from the first movie after before she died and everything but I mean it it is what it is. I don't know. But yeah, go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for the movie. I hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys all next time. Bye for now. Okay, three, two, one, go. I wonder how dark this movie is going to be. I mean, you know, movie one and movie two is dark. <laughs> I am literally kind of rushing this because it's Thursday and this is the only day I was able to record this. Oh. Are you kidding me? So what you're gonna do, kill her just to get rid of her? Cause you're not gonna let her walk out here alive. Oh. So not only did y'all rape the bitch, and I'm sorry to call her a bitch, I don't mean to call her a bitch, but you raped her. Remaining sense of pain. Okay. You rape her. There's no way in hell that she walked out by herself alive. She is. You would think that they would have killed her. Mm -hmm. 
What if she kills them? I mean, you know, out of revenge, you know, like a rape revenge story, you know, like, yeah, she goes out and finds the people who molested her and then just kills them straight up. I mean, she did not just leave without saying, like, anything. Mm. So, in a way, she is out there killing. Maybe. I don't know. Y'all know. What's wrong? <laughs> what well, damn you? <laughs> I mean, you know, one, that's none of your business, but I mean, hey, we women, we like to spend money on things. What damn? <laughs> yeah. Hey, she might double your pay. I, I mean, hey, you never know. Toko still ain't gonna give you money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor baby. What about you, Saki? You got money? Okay, so the girl with the purple hair. How? I mean, how can you even answer the, if the job is perfect for her? I mean, yeah, I, you know, honestly, I think any job Shiki does is perfect. And I think I said Saki. My bad. Oh my god, there's too many fucking names in my head right now. But, like, honestly, Kyoko, why would you think this job is perfect for Shiki? See, that's a good friend. Um, yeah, what you want? Oh, he probably dead. <laughs> yeah, he probably. 
probably dead. Oh, got involved with something dangerous. Definitely dead. Come on now. <laughs> Let's put two and two together. He ain't gonna be hanging off somewhere, right? Like, mm. Or no, that's him, ain't it? Ooh. I mean, that sound, though. Oh shit. Oh. I mean, hold on. Let me ask something. What the heck she used to kill him? Did she get like a knife and be like, eh. <laughs> 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 what the Oh, oh, okay. She's the girl from the end of movie one. What? Well, thank God, just making more of an appearance. Her eyes are so pretty too. Oh, it's okay, because he know he next. He's about to die soon, probably.
The purple hair trick. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, she knows him. <laughs> And so, of course, she's using her mystic eyes as well. Well, that was pretty. You're just in pain and you want others who did something to you to also feel pain. Shiki? it up like a pretzel. Oh god damn. She really did something on his Countered each other. But uh, she <laughs> Oh, the fuck? Mm -mm. And you just kept doing it, didn't you? Better. Just never use something like that again. But no, her she probably did because I mean, look what the fuck she currently doing now. Shit.
I mean, she not going to stop until she kill you, bro. Because, I mean, that, you know, in a way, it makes her happy. Two, I don't think Nikki's going to help you anyway. I mean, think about the shit you did, bro. Honestly, that reminds me. I want to watch that monster show that came out in 2004. I've not seen that. Heard really good things about that show. So then why the fuck didn't you stop? I mean, yeah, you are honestly too nice, Miki. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, but Kent is a disgusting piece of shit, and he has a right to die. I'm sorry. And talk about what? Miki, I, I like you. I like you a lot, but you, you, mm, God, you, you one of them type of boys that, you know, yes, I have a crush on and everything, but I mean, you know, your feelings, they're making you a little too weak. You can't be like that towards her. She's dangerous. See, there's your feelings again. You can't always talk to someone. Some people don't want to talk. Mm -hmm. And that's why she kept always saying her stomach hurts. Of course.
It's a possibility. I mean, the body remembers a lot of things. Getting in with the baseball bat. Of course you don't, Shaky. Okay, well that's better, but you know, who the hell is going to watch me, Nato? I mean, Kyoko, you could. I mean, what you doing during the day? She'll be fine. I mean, they make you walk up to them, ask them a question, talk, hey, hello, how's the weather? She's gonna kill again tonight, I didn't say. No, fuck. Well, damn! Of course. Yeah, because Miki taking a little too long. We just need to go ahead and kill her.
Oh shit. Stomach hurt again. Mm -mm. I don't like this. Now, okay, let me go ahead and ask this now because she said that she hates Shiki. Is it because of the fact is that, you know, Shiki and Miki are an item? And she's just jealous and she wants Miki all to herself? A, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, um, Shiki's already gone. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, then. <laughs> Of course, anyone's going to find it creepy. Yeah, I mean, because honestly, what could you do? Because, I mean, even when she was cutting the, what, it looked like a tomato or something, and when she was cutting herself, she didn't cry or anything. Cheeky gone. I mean, you should have asked that first, but okay. Yeah, she been live. She about to go kill this bitch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
So what did she do? Oh. And she straight up killed him. And so that, okay, that makes sense. See, honestly, I thought she was going to jump off the bridge, but no. I mean, we could still go that way, but no, nah, these two bitches are about to fucking fight. Oh, no, boo boo, that's you. I mean, because, yeah, you know, bad cheeky in part one of that murder thing. Yeah, she enjoyed that shit, too. But I don't know, probably a little bit more than you. This is a trap or something. Okay. So basically, almost in a way, in order for her to get over this situation, she has to go around and kill the guys who did her wrong. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, yes, she is, because what else can you do for her? She's too far gone. Mm-hmm. And I mean, with this, with the previous victim, so like what, victim seven, she couldn't have killed them if she wanted to because that had nothing to do with them, but she did it anyway. Jesus. Well, yeah. 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 Okay. That has to be the reason why she answered them.
I mean, we kind of already know that this movie is going to end with her dying. I mean, it makes the most sense. But I don't know. I mean, now I'm kind of thinking maybe this chick is going to survive. Like, we know Shiki going to survive no matter what because it's Shiki. Oh. Oh, who knows? We about to find out in a couple minutes, baby. you are. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because what else is it going to be? destroy the bridge please tell me we're not about to go with the Game of Thrones route with her getting dead off screen do you know how unsatisfying that is? That's not satisfying at all. No, don't do that. Okay, thank God. Oof. All right. Because it would have been so fucked up if Shiki woke up and, like, she's killed by a freaking boulder. Oh, she might not even make it out. Oh, damn. Yeah, she not going to make it. Damn, that's fucked up. Oh, 
Well, damn. But wait, 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 wait. What? Oh, okay. All right. Of course she would, Niki. Are you, you're gonna stay? So she'll basically never be normal again. I mean, in a way, she never was. Right? You're too nice. Really? Hell 
you know, what if this movie series ends with her killing him? I mean, because she's been wanting to do that ever. Look at that smile. It'd be cute. But you just don't, you don't trust that. I mean, because especially this chick just referred to herself in the third person. But, you know, that's the other cheeky inside of her. But, I mean, mm. This series is weird. Not a bad weird, a really good weird. But you know what? That's okay. I fucking enjoy it. I like it. I mean, goddamn. This one was good, but really sad at the same time. I wasn't expecting um, a rape story to come in so soon. I mean... Mm, God, I, I can't imagine, like, someone who is, like, this gave me, I don't know why, fucking Wonder Egg feels, or, like, anything where, like, an anime has, like, talked about rape, and it, cause see, now we're getting into the terms where talking about getting sexually molested or just anything is the new normal, and that what it's like, and you're sharing your experiences with someone, and then also possibly your revenge story, and sometimes maybe it's either good or bad to possibly get revenge on someone, it just depends on what it is. It, it's upsetting. Thank God she ain't dead, because, I mean, oof, like, that would have been a little fucked up if she died, died, but I think, you know... This was really good for all three of them. I do have one question, though, and I don't think I asked this around movie one. Since we now only have... This is movie three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We got five more movies before we're done. The situation of, like... Or no, not the situation. The relationship of Miki, Kyoko, and Shiki. Are we ever going to see how Miki and Shiki met Kyoko and such? Because they've all known each other... Not not since the beginning, but really ever since the first movie. So is there going to be a point in time with the rest of this series where we do get to see her come and be like, hey, my name's Kyoko, what's his face, da 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 da, -da. this is that and third, this is what I do, da 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 I want you to join me, something like that maybe, I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, this movie was sad, I mean really, really sad, like... All three, <laughs> well, no, movie two wasn't, to me, movie two wasn't sad. Movie one and movie three, honestly, really have felt, like, hella fucking sad. I, I feel like now we're probably just, it's gonna get worse. It's gonna get worse. I don't know how, but yeah, it, it just is. I feel like now this movie, since we've gone into freaking suicide and a murderous killer and now rape I, the biggest thing that would surprise me if this series did is fucking incest or some shit and that's something that is like no for me but something tells me this movie might do it this series might i don't know I, i'm just because like what else can, how dark are we gonna go with this like each movie has had really dark moments where like after i've done finished watching them It'll be like an hour after I finish and I'll be sitting here thinking about it like, damn, did that really just fucking happen in this movie? Because, I mean, even though this is like a completely, this has nothing to fucking do with Fate. It, it's just as dark as Fate Zero. Because, like, to me, UBW ain't that dark. I mean, we all know Heaven's Hill is dark as fuck. But this shit is like, oh my god. I mean, like, if I could compare it to any other, like, dark moments in an episode, the the other rape scene from Sora Online, because that shit's dark. Like, any any moment where it's like, okay, yeah, we're gonna go a little too far and such, or like a time where, you know, an animation studio, especially when they get an anime, and they're distributing it to the rest of the world, they have to put that little, like, hey, you were use your discretion as advice, so like, mm, the one other video series, uh, reaction series I did that sparked a lot of controversy on my channel because everybody knows me and says, oh, well, Queen Deja watch nothing but cute shit. But I'm like, y'all really don't love me, know me that much because of someone who likes horror and who likes that bloody twisted shit and freaking Goblin Slayer's first episode, I enjoyed it for what it was. Yeah, it didn't creep me out because everybody was over here like, oh, this shit is fucking crazy. And then I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, okay, well, maybe I shouldn't watch it. But everybody 
one of my one of my really good friends just said you know what fuck it just watch it and after i watched it i was like yeah this ain't as bad as i thought but still that was the one of many other series that i've done as reaction or from 2016 up until now that has sparked so much fucking controversy and everybody's like no you shouldn't watch it <laughs> but yeah this movie was good <laughs> i was sad but good I mean, just, oh, God. Mmm. It's gonna get worse. I, I just know it. Like, see, you're gonna put something. Oh, okay. Nope, there's something else. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, is this part two? Oh, damn. Well, I'm guessing I'm getting that answer on that. The hollow. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. All right. We, all right. Okay. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. All right. We're going to go ahead and pause on this and I'm going to see you in the second half because, um, I I got a little bit of questions on even that preview. So yeah, give me one second. <laughs> we go talk about this ish. Okay. All right. So in that preview one, it, it talks about it's been two years since that night. So of course, we're talking about the fact of um of her almost killing Miki one. So this has to be a point where like she starts using her mystic eyes and such. It has to be. So then it seems like also from that preview as well, this is officially when we're getting that introduction of Kyoko and, you know, Miki and Kyoko. I mean, I'm making Kyoko. Miki and Shiki officially meeting Kyoko and them, them eventually by the end of movie four um, working together as like whatever the fuck this group is called and such, you know. I mean, because in a way they're kind of like a fucking Scooby gang in a way, but not just, just the three of them really. But I, I mean, okay, I got another question. Was that someone on top of someone on that bed in the hospital? If so, who the heck was that? Because that because it looked like a woman and a man to me. I don't know because like the way it looked, it went too fast. And I'm like, okay, who the f is that? Um, but the, okay, so I'm guessing the our our, our mm, shit. I cannot stop. <laughs> I can't fucking speak. The, the the good Shiki wants to initially kill the murderer Shiki. But of course, we kind of know that that's not going to happen because it seems like in this film, the murderer Shiki is still inside of her because Shiki referred to herself in the third person. And so anytime when Shiki is referring to herself in the third person, you know that's murderer Shiki talking about normal Shiki. Um, but like, oh, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It was also nice to see... Um, Miki's sister. I, I didn't think she was going to come back into this movie as well because I'm thinking, oh, okay, you're, you show up in movie one, you're probably never going to be seen or heard from again. You're probably going to be doing your own thing. But as I said, yeah, this movie was really, really sad. Like, I, I mean, yeah, it didn't make me cry, but like inside, I'm like, oh God, like this fucking hurts. But the fact is that she was using the pain of killing someone even though she didn't feel the stab wound but she was still initially feeling that pain and the only way for her to get rid of it for a little moment was to kill someone who did something wrong to her i mean it's an interesting revenge story because this is honestly what this whole movie was about it was a revenge story but at the same time it was a sad story because i'm thinking this chick she was gonna die she was gonna stay dead she was never gonna come back to life it, it's interesting that like the client who wanted them to do this was her father because he tried to do something for her in the past but of course it just didn't ultimately work but i, I will say it i've already said it once and i'll say it again yes Nikki, like to me as a female watching this 
show <laughs> this series. He he is a very he's still an interesting character. He's probably maybe like my second or third personal favorite character because Shiki is number one to me. And she's Shiki's very interesting. She's different, not like many um female protagonists that I've seen like in the past. I don't think she would if we would put her on like my favorite female protagonists and stuff, she wouldn't be number one. I think a lot of people already probably know <laughs> who my number one is, aka if you've seen Akudama Drive. Um she'd probably be like in maybe top four, top five because she she keeps the type of person where it's like and this and it doesn't matter whether it's regular Shiki or murderous Shiki. Shiki is the type where it's like, mm, we're going to duke this out first and then we're going to ask questions. Because sometimes, like, Shiki has a moment where, and this is how sometimes she kind of reminds me of Shinobu, not because of all, all the VA and shit like that, where it's just like, okay, let, let me just fight with this bitch first and then we're going to ask questions. Because sometimes there are some people in the world who are like, fuck it, I don't feel like you know, asking X, Y, and Z. We're just going to duke this out and then we're going to talk it out. But there are, the the thing is the only person that can stop Shiki besides Shiki herself is also Miki and technically <laughs> sometimes Miki comes at like the worst times Miki he's a very interesting guy I love him to death but the one thing that does make him weak is his feelings towards people I get that because you know we're human and we're supposed to have feelings and care about people no matter what but at the same time when you have someone who like Shiki who was completely like trying to think of the word kind of against or really doesn't really give a shit about feelings and then someone who does really care about feelings and stuff they clash and not in a way where it's like I feel like they're gonna fight clash more they do arguments and such because Miki always wants to see the good in people while Shiki is like nope they've done something bad they need to kind of be wrong for their rights and stuff but still at the same time like when when Shiki asked him about the um being a murderer and killing people you know that's bad and of course he's gonna say yeah because everybody's going to say that that's technically the right question and stuff but at the same time because oh my god this is giving me like death note feels and the first time when i watched death note god damn it <laughs> where it's like you know hey someone says this but then on the internet there's a completely different situation on it and everything but still I, I just think like there there's gonna be a point in time with like from movie four to movie eight where Miki's like feelings and his, you know, emotions and wanting to see the good in people is going to be his big old downfall. I don't think it necessarily he is going to die. I just think probably by the end of this he's gonna he's gonna look at the situations that he's been through from movie one up to movie eight and maybe he'll like turn around and like change something i don't know i feel like shiki's still gonna say in the same because you know shiki i mean that's a bad bitch like <laughs> i don't know y'all know i mean i would love to know you can go ahead and just give me the answers right now but like at the same time no don't don't, don't tell me anything no 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 we still got a couple more weeks left with the series before i watch the alien ova but i mean honestly this was a really good movie i think if i um <laughs> Oh God, <laughs> it, it, it didn't trigger me, but it, it gave me like a little bit of feels like that. The first few minutes, I'm like, oh, we, I was like, damn, now we're going into the darkest of dark. And I'm like, yeah, is it how, like, seriously, every single week we get into any of these movies, it just keeps getting darker and darker and darker and darker. So it's like, okay, how dark is movie four about to be? Like, are we about to go really fucking dark? Like, Oh my god, like, damn, this is more like, when you think of, like, oh god, not like regular old horror horror movies, but you know, like, when it's like a horror thriller type, or a thriller mystery, and then, like, them subtle looks and glances and everything, like, I don't know why I'm kind of getting feels towards that, but it's okay, I love it, I really do love this series, I, I mean, honestly, I have a lot more questions, but I think I'm just gonna, ooh. I think, you know, I hope and pray someone has done, like, a really good video essay on this. And if they've, if they have, I think I'm just going to wait until the final movie to possibly watch it if someone has made it. Because, like, oh, yeah, your girl still got a lot of more questions. But, yeah, the, this third movie was really good. I don't think it would be my personal favorite in a Revenge Story. I think Revenge Stories are very interesting because, you know, 
she she received like a lot of trauma and so the best way to get over that sometimes either is to fall in love with somebody else and then like cope with it or you know hey <laughs> get revenge <laughs> so maybe since she is now miraculously alive and she's possibly recovered from it i, I hope we kind of get to see her again to see how she currently is now but something tells me that she might i don't think she'll go to a, like an insane asylum because she's not crazy she, she is crazy but she ain't like you know crazy crazy and like mish little shaky over here because i mean that bitch crazy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like, honestly, really, who knows? Like, if she makes another appearance in the next of the movies, it'd be really interesting. If not, that's okay. There, I get it, because sometimes you just gotta be like, here's one and done, and we never see them again. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards movie three of The Garden of Sinners. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially next Friday for movie four. Bye, guys.